If you haven't been wearing your sunscreen every day, start doing that now. Make sunscreen your best friend. Have you been wondering why your skin looks wrinkled, old and you're still young? If you do so, you need to revisit your skincare routine because the last most important thing in your skincare routine is the sunscreen. There's so many out there in the market. These are just a few of the sunscreens that I'm going to review today. Um, well, um, I haven't tried everything out there in the market so I can say that this is better than the other but I'm just uh, gonna review what I have here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please be sure to do so. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. It is very important to take care of our skin because skin is an organ that's directly exposed to the sun so it protects our inner organs and then we have to take good care of it and one of the good ways to take good care of it is applying sunscreen and uh, eating healthy and drinking lots and lots of water sun is the number one cause of skin aging and um, it also causes skin cancer unfortunately so we just have to take good care of our skins and protect us at all costs sunscreen is just so 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 important step guys because this can really change the way your skin looks since i started using sunscreen in my skincare i've found out that my skin has really improved it looks much better it looks much healthier and I have less dark spots. It's something you have to wear, whether it's sunny or cold. I cannot leave the house without wearing my sunscreen. It protects you against the sun rays, UVA and the UVB. The UVA are uh, the sun rays that cause the uh, skin aging because they penetrate deep into the collagen and destroy it while the UVB burns very quickly. Basically, uh, when you're looking for a sunscreen, it's important to look for a sunscreen that has uh, the UVA and the UVB. Well, I have a number of sunscreens I would like to talk about today. One thing I look for in a sunscreen is a sunscreen that is able to leave my skin feeling moisturized, that is not so sticky and also uh, that doesn't leave my face looking like a ghost. For good protection of the skin, it's important to use a sunscreen that's at least 30 and above. Another important thing, even if you, are, you have applied sunscreen, it doesn't mean that you should just go there and bathe in the sun for hours and hours because that can lead to the uh, destruction of your skin and irreversible problems for your skin that cannot be treated, it can even lead to cancer. So um, it's important to limit the time you are under the sun and remember to wear your sunscreen and reapply every at least two hours while under the sun. This is another sunscreen that um, I've really seen it around on YouTube. You know, a lot of uh, YouTubers have been talking about this. Uh, pipettes and I've seen some videos where some people have said that this uh, this one leaves a white cast on on the face uh, well I bought this sunscreen before I saw I watched those videos because I had seen another one where um, the person had said how good it was for the whole family and uh, that you can apply it it doesn't leave a white cast and all that and uh, and even babies can use this so it kind of caught my attention and I was like wow uh, I would like to try this while most of the mineral sunscreens can maybe leave your face looking like a ghost because you know they most of them contain zinc oxide which can which is whitish and uh, can leave your face looking grayish and all that well, this one they say, um, as you can see, it's a mineral sunscreen with uh, SPF of 50. It, uh, it's fragrance free. Um, they say it's a baby friendly sunscreen that uses 100% of 100% uh, of minerals 
and it's a non nano zinc oxide of broad spectrum uh, UVA UVB protection that works for the whole family uh, they say it's uh, it's lightweight and it doesn't leave a white cast so um, as you can see on the video there, I applied it on my skin and it really did leave a white cast on my face. I don't know if this would be something I would wear with makeup really, but uh, maybe I, w I could still use it on other parts of the body, but probably not on the face, I think so. It does absorb with time, you know. Other than that, it feels very lightweight, that's for sure, and uh, it feels very... Uh, it leaves the skin feeling uh, smooth, but I feel like um, if you're not wearing a moisturizer under, it dries up the skin. Um, well, uh, where while I was wearing it, I had a moisturizer under, so that's why it doesn't look all that dry. But uh, if you wear it all alone, uh, it feels very dry, and I think one has to just use with a moisturizer first. I've really been loving the products La Roche Posay. This um, um, sunscreen is just so amazing. This is for kids, for sensitive skin. Uh, I bought it for my baby, and um, but of course I can also use it. It can be used by the whole family. Um, I bought it also because I can use it on my face, and it's for sensitive. Uh, uh, if you have very sensitive skin, this could be something nice for you. Uh, this company makes very very good products from um, everything uh, from skincare from I mean from low body lotions to face creams to diff uh, to cleansers to toners and all that I just love their products they are so amazing this one here has the SPF value of 50 and um, uh, they say it's a technology wet skin it is water resistant, it's perfume free, uh, it feels great on the skin but um, at first it might feel a little bit sticky when you're applying but it does get absorbed with time and um, it's leaving your skin well moisturized. Well you can wear these without anything else because it just does moisturize very well and makes your face look amazing and your body. So and this I really love it because it doesn't leave a white a white cast. It doesn't leave that ghostly ex appearance, you know. Um, for me, when I'm wearing makeup and uh, uh, I look for a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast because that means a lot to the kind of makeup you're wearing. It can it can give you a different look or destroy your makeup look, you know, or change the color of your foundations and all that. So. Uh, I really, uh, I'm really careful when <clears throat> with the sunscreen type I apply on my face. This is just so good and it has a 50 SPF, it's just wonderful. It offers protection, you can see uh, the UVA is circled there, that means it's a third of this uh, value here. Uh, it's high protection. so. This is just wonderful and this can be used by the whole family like I said. Well they say you can apply these to both wet and dry skin. Uh, it doesn't leave a white cast, it's non, um, it's hypoallergenic and also um, it offers, it offers high protection to the skin, uh, to, um, I mean <clears throat> high protection to the skin from the sun rays. So uh, this is just really, really good and um, I, I just love also how it looks on the face and uh, no one would know you're wearing a sunscreen. So that's a, a plus, you know. Another important thing is once you wear your sunscreen in the morning, don't think that it has offered you protection for the whole day, you know, because sunscreen wears out with time and it needs reapplying. I would really like to explore more. I will probably be making other videos on sunscreen uh, in the future. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. You know, I hope it's very useful for you. So uh, be calm and 
sunscreen yourself. Bye bye. Kwaheri.